Hello, it is Jim Clark here from On Success TV. I'm down here today with Chris, who is co-founder of Gecko, which is a technology company based in Manchester. Uh, Chris has got a really interesting story to tell, and so I look forward to finding out more. So Day-to-day, uh, I'll be dealing with new business opportunities, uh, also managing the vendor relationships that we have with like to Cisco and Tejal, uh, and then also overseeing sort of marketing and, and communication strategy of the business to sort of ensure that we've got good opportunities coming through to the rest of the sales team and the technical team as well. So, so what was your first ever job you ever did? Uh, okay, so first ever job would have been uh, Paperboy, then uh, working as a silver service waiter, and then delivering pizzas for perfect pizza on the mopeds. And then my first proper job, my first real job out of school, um, after I finished, sort of dropped out of college, I guess, um, was to go on to an apprenticeship. Um, school wasn't right for me and sort of found that doing an apprenticeship, a mix of still studying whilst at work was a great opportunity to sort of earn a bit of money while still doing a bit of study, which is what I was looking for at the time. So I got a job as a sales apprentice working for a builder's merchant. Okay. So you started as an apprentice and now you're a business owner. How did you make that journey? Uh, so after my apprenticeship, I knew I wanted to get into IT. Didn't know a lot about IT at the time. Um, so managed to find a job that was a sales support. So admin role really supporting the sales team. Knew that I wanted to get into sales at that point. So sort of took the leap, started off as a sales support and then about 10 months later I got promoted into sales. Uh, and then moved, moved company a couple of times in this, this period of time as well. Um, and then a guy that I used to work with some years earlier in my career as a sales support, he'd set up a business uh, and basically come back and ask me if I'd, I'd set up an office in Manchester for him. Um, and we set that up in, in St. James, Yeah, as you know. That's uh, how we got to meet Chris, Chris was <laughs> next door. So yeah, so we, we set up uh, an office there, but we wasn't too happy with the way that company was being run. And then, yeah, so then we, we sort of got base right up and running and, and then recently set up Gecko a few years later than that, so. I know that it can be quite pressurised running your own business. Um, so what is it that motivates you? Um, I think at different stages, as you grow older, different things motivate you. Uh, definitely money, if I'm honest. I've always been very money driven. Um, especially in the sort of early 20s, that was a big motivator, the one to go on holidays and stuff like that. So money was a big motivator early on. Um, but I guess as you sort of grow in your career, the motivation now, the real big motivation is that the businesses that we've created to, to see them become a success, um, to, to drive those businesses forward and, and, and to create a great place for people to work in and, and that's the real motivation these days is to see what we've created become successful. Yeah, true. Yeah. The word success is used a lot. I mean, this video is called on success, but, but what does success mean to you personally? Personally, uh, a, a happy, carefree life, I guess. Uh, to, to be in a position where, where I'm comfortable uh, myself, financially, obviously. Um, but also with, with the team, with the business that we've created. So like I say, I want to have a business that is, that is growing and, and that people are happy to come here and work for us. So if we create that environment and, and the business is thriving, then, then that is success to us, really, I think. What advice or three bits of advice would you give a young person who's just starting out on their career in terms of how to shine and impress and to move on in their career? Um, respect, respect your elders, listen to people that have been in, in business for a while, the people that your peers. Um, organisation, I think, is a key thing to aid and, and, and motivation. Um, you're only going to be successful if, if you're determined uh, along those things. You know, if you, if, if you don't listen to the people that have the experience and don't, don't respect what they're saying, um, then, then that's not going to help you. Um, you've got to be organised, definitely. You know, I mean, if, if you're going to be successful or you want to be successful, uh, you, you need to keep track of what you're doing. Uh, you need to be organised in your day uh, and, and get up and at it early. Well, thank you very much for your time, Chris. It's been interesting to hear your journey and some words of wisdom there for young people starting out on their careers and really appreciate your time. No problem. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers.